What's good, man and family? This is your boy, Jay Moneyga, coming at you with another Madden 22 coin making method episode. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be breaking down all the ways you could be making coins and taking advantage of this high rising market because we finally have some stabilization. Just like your boy told you, it was going to happen and it did. So look down, smack the thumbs up, guys, so we can get some more subs. We're getting five subs a video because we're dropping the truth the knowledge on the family guys and all for all the newcomers welcome for my people that have been supporting the money squad shout out to the money squad thank you for all your continued support ladies and gentlemen okay guys so today i told you guys the market would rise up 87's unfiltered down are selling for 70,000 coins ladies and gentlemen i told you the market would go up okay the reason that i know the market goes up and down guys is because i watch huddle.gg if you guys have any fear of the market going up and down when you should buy when you should sell i give you tips man but make sure you go to huddle.gg you can see the market goes up down up down up down and that's when you guys can start to figure out your own days to buy training cheap and sell it off guys we were buying 87s at 45 55 uh you know 60 000 coins this weekend i told you guys you know try and get them cheap you know what i mean and now you're selling them at 70k so uh at the at the worst you're making 5,000. at the best you're making 20,000. if you were buying the 87s last night when there were 45,000 coins guys you're making yourself almost 25k if you're selling them off today guys if you guys went and you did those uh superstar you possibly could have made some coins off of those as well some of those cards were going for crazy crazy prices guys all right so uh hopefully you guys uh did take part in the buying and selling so you guys made coins okay because i know i did man all right uh i actually rolled most of my trading in the campus heroes guys but we profited so much off of that guys i got a clip at the end of the video that i'll show you show you my son was pulling uh mad 89s this morning all right guys so i want to start off with coin methods for my low stack people guys and we have some coin methods for every type of coin stack high low guys we got it all for you guys in this video okay we're gonna break it down for every type of coin stack now ladies and gentlemen the one coin method well this ties into a lot of coin methods guys all right we have more than this so don't bounce just because you see me doing this but i want to break it down why this pack is so lucrative today guys okay this this pack usually doesn't spit power-ups out until you guys go and exchange them all right but this pack i've been doing it today man has been spitting out all sorts of crazy power-ups for me guys i've been getting mad power-ups out of this pack today okay some power-ups are selling for 10 15 000 coins so all we're doing guys is we're exchanging up i like to exchange all the way up to the 75 through 79 now if you guys just want to exchange up to low golds that's fine as well it's a little bit harder to stabilize your coins whenever we're doing the get a player pack the main thing is we don't want to lose coins when we're doing it this also helps you build your mutt rewards up to legendary tier okay guys how do you think i get legendary tier i do a lot of uh gambling packs but guys i usually wind up doing this get a player method um at least you know five six times a month whenever i see that it's hitting for something good guys okay if i can make myself like 30k an hour um then i'll sit in here and do this man and i'll tell you what guys so there's a bunch of different ways you can make coins to the get a player method the main thing guys is we're going for power-ups okay so if we get power-ups guys that aren't selling for much all you do is quick sell them until you have enough to get yourself a playbook and then you go buy a playbook and you sell it off that helps you stabilize your coins guys okay so um keep that in mind so uh we did get the rising stars today their power-ups are in here um there's all sorts of power-ups in here man you got sean taylor's power up uh you got calvin johnson's power up guys and all people who are doing are they're ripping exchanging this pack up guys and then they're selling off the power-ups they're taking their golds they're putting them in the superstars guys people are building a free superstar cards or they're building superstar cards all the way up you could build the free Devonte smith um there's so many different places you guys can put your gold cards or you guys could just be prepping for the team diamonds guys okay i want to get one good power up before i move on man okay so uh there has been um a heckler in my comment section man who told me that i couldn't predict the market 
Okay, guys. Well, I absolutely predict the, the market. I've been right on um, actually about like 10 times in a row. So do me a favor, man. If you're that guy, don't go posting another YouTuber's link in my shit. I don't mind if you do that, but come to me first as a man and say, yo, bro, we're, we're going to be doing this, man. And, and if I can look at that YouTuber and see that he's actually doing good content, Yo, I'll send my people his way. So we got a power up, guys. Brandon Brooks, okay? So let's see what this one sells for. Brandon Brooks, pretty decent right guard. She's going for 2,200 coins. So we made our coins back on the pools that we got. So that's what we're trying to do. Stabilize our coins while we're building up, okay? Exchanging up. And uh, sometimes you guys pull really good power ups. Sometimes you don't. People you just use this as a solid method to build coins over and over again. Okay, guys, so keep that in mind. All right, some people just do this. Now, uh, you can exchange your rookie cards up and try and sell them off. I don't think they're selling for much, or you can put them aside and try and do the free Devontae Smith method. Uh, I don't know how much he's selling for anymore. Probably not too much, guys. All right, but um, yeah, man, so I'm not going to keep pulling this pack. But that's what you guys are going to do, man. So you're going to rip this pack. You're going to keep doing it. And I'm going to show you guys what to do with the gold cards. We're going to hop into some bigger methods as well, guys. Some big, big methods. But I told you guys, look. Jamal Adams. Look at that one. That's a good power-up to keep. All right? That's definitely a good power-up to keep. Look, 3,000 coins, guys. Um, but I would suggest that you actually hold on to the Jamal. I think that's a good one to stock up on, man. So we're not going to sell that one, okay? But you could sell that one off. Uh, we're actually going to keep that one off. But you see, guys... This pack usually doesn't spit power-ups out by itself, man. But it is today, guys. I don't know. They juice these packs up. Uh, that's why I wanted to bring this to your attention, man. So make sure you guys are hitting this get a player pack. If you guys are low stack, get your coins up because you're going to need coins to do more methods. It takes coins to make coins, guys. If you want to be able to gamble, you want to have a million coins before you start gambling and doing crazy stuff. Okay, guys. Yes, gambling can get you a lot of coins. But gambling can make you lose your shirt as well, guys, okay? you seen me hit big on the gambles last night. You know that's my favorite method. I'm going to show you guys exactly why and how much coins we made off of that and how much we profited. All right, we dropped a video on it last night, guys. But we're breaking down everything, man. All right, so uh, look down, smack the thumbs up. How'd you guys do in your fantasy football leagues, man? I dropped Nakeem Hines in one of my fucking leagues, man. Very disappointed. Now, I picked up that new boy um, that's supposed to be the number one running back. It's supposed to be uh, between him and Trey Sermon on the 49ers because uh, most are did get injured, man. I'm really hoping that they stick with the kid. He had like 18 fantasy points this week. But if they wind up going with Trey Sermon, guys, your boy uh, lost Nakeem Hines for no reason. It was either him or Nakeem. Nakeem puts up uh, good numbers too, man. Um, I was a little skeptical. Look, another power up, guys. And we got an Anthony Barr, which probably isn't going to sell for too much. But whenever you get something like this, guys, look, so a 1,000 coins. You could sell that or you could quick sell this, okay? Because that's going to get us quicker to our playbook, okay? So whenever you get enough training from selling off power-ups that don't sell for much, guys, uh, then all you got to do is come over to training, okay? Um, you could actually save up enough to roll a Campus Hero. Or you guys could come over. You could do a uniform or a stadium. But I suggest a playbook. Find one that's selling for around 6,000 coins, and that'll help you stabilize your coins so you don't lose coins when you're pulling for these nice power-ups and these free gold cards, okay? Because you're going to wind up with gold cards. You're going to wind up with power-ups, guys. And there's so many different things you could do with your gold cards, guys, all right? So this is for my low stack, guys. We're going to get into the high stack methods in a second. We're going to do a ton of methods in this video, guys. So make sure you're staying tuned, man. Now, you could be trying to do the team of the week. I don't suggest this one, though, man. It takes a lot of gold cards. Now, if you pull a Kyler Murray, guys, you're up 60K, okay? But uh, I have had bad experience with these, all right? Now, maybe you guys have better experience. If you do, let me know, okay? All right, so do keep that in mind. So does this have a... Uh, uh, a gold player exchange as well so guys remember this has a gold player exchange as well man all right now you do need two elites but if you guys go get free gold cards man you could add them to the set you say i got 280 overalls in here because i was trying to pull the 85 all right so if you can get free gold cards from doing the get a player method you can do that set as well okay so many different sets you guys can do man all right um and it's going to get you guys coins does campus heroes have one what do they have dude they have all conference join here man all right so let me see what is this um okay so now that's the big set do they have a side exchange maybe not maybe not for that one maybe not for that one okay so underclassmen okay so they do 
So they do it right here, guys. Look at that. So you guys can get free gold players from the get a player method and build yourself a campus hero, okay? Is this an 80 plus? No, so it's 80 overall. So it's 8,000 coins. You'd probably be better off selling your gold cards since they are 75s. So actually stay away from that one, guys, okay? Um, all right, so you also have team affinity, team builders, guys. So if you can get those three gold cards for free, and then you go snipe these 80 overalls for 7,000 points, 7, 14, 21. You got these cards for free from stabilizing your, your coins. That's what I used to do when the team builders first came out. Okay, so it's still a method to do team builders. People still need these cards, guys. Just check the price of some of them. I suggest the tight ends and the linemen. Okay, guys? So, you know, check them out. See what's selling. People need them for theme teams. All right? But the big money maker, guys, is going to be uh, the exchange in here. I, I heard a lot of people are making a ton of coins from building free gold cards. And then what they're doing, guys, is uh, they're getting these, uh, these um, 74 through 79s. And then they put them in here, guys. And then they just build the sets all the way up. People are literally building these cards all the way up from the get a player method, guys. So the more that you do, the higher that you build. Now, it does take time, but people are making coins from this method. So if you guys are low stack, that's what you want to be doing, okay? Now, you could also go into the exchange set. And with your extra gold cards that you get from the get a player method where you're trying to pull those power-ups, guys, you can also do the team items, which is going to be playbooks, uniforms, stadiums, coaches. Check the prices of whatever you're trying to create before you do it. And then go ahead and do it, okay? So for my low stack, guys, I hope that helped you out, okay? So let's get into our next low stack method, and then we're going to start moving on, guys. This is going to be a pretty long video, man. Uh, because I just want to go into a lot of things. We're going to try a bunch of st th stuff out. Also, I'll show you guys how much coins that I've made. Okay, guys, sniping 84s right now and 85s is definitely the move. Okay, these cards are coming in ultra cheap. The same with 82s and 83s because the market is still stabilizing. So whenever the market's stabilizing, guys, um, you can make a ton of coins. So let's see, guys. 82s are going for 13,000 coins, okay? All right, so I've seen 83 selling for crazy prices. All right, so 83 down here at 15,000 coins. So it's at 12 and 15. It's going to rise up, though, guys. It's going to rise up eventually, all right? So let's do this, man. i seen cards also as well that you guys might want to invest in, like some Lamars and stuff like that as well. All right, guys, so if you come in here, man, you could go to newest or you could go to buy now and sit here and try and finagle with, I think, 84s and 85s are the moves. We're going to go through all of them, though, guys. We're going to go through every single one and just see what's popping off, man. But sniping is really the move, man. All right, you can find yourself some pretty decent card. Look, 11,000 coins. That's not much profit, man. Uh, maybe I should go to buy now, okay? Probably get some better ones and buy now. I just like to do newest because I tried to get the 83 overalls, guys. Remember, I told you some of those 83s have unique prices, guys, all right? But I heard 84s and 85s are absolutely the move right now, guys, all right? So let's see if we can find ourselves some nice cheap cards by floating around and sniping and reposting you see they're selling around twenty six thousand coins the market is stabilizing guys all you got to do is find them around like twenty thousand coins guys so look twenty three thousand coins that's perfect that's two thousand coins profit after ea tax so that's not a bad snipe right there guys okay so keep that in mind that you could be sniping and reposting all right very very simple very very easy okay so now let's get into our other low stack method and see how it pans out guys now i told you about this method before it is a look six thousand nine hundred for an 81 overall okay so we want to try and for, find them for as cheap as possible because we see the 83s are selling for fifteen thousand coins so make sure you guys are digging deep when you guys are trying to do this exchange method all right you want to try and get them for as cheap as possible because remember we could pull 84s which are selling for a lot higher than the 83s look 6,000 coins guys so we could snipe and repost these guys either that or we could snipe them oh i didn't get it i didn't get it guys so like i said dig deep try and get them for cheap guys all right so uh, i might have to buy some on the regular price side but um, like what I'm suggesting you guys do is definitely dig deep. Try and find them for a lot cheaper than what I'm about to buy them for. Okay, guys. Uh, so now we have, we do have three of them here. We'll go take our other uh, cards out of that set. And all you guys do is you just go and you exchange these through the exchange set. So let's go over to the exchange set. You want to snipe them for around 6,000 points. So 6, 12, 18. 
So that way, if you pull an 83, now some of those 83 sell for unique prices, but if you pull an 83 that's selling for low, you could you could lose 3,000 coins. You definitely can. Okay, you could definitely lose 3,000 coins. Okay, um, either that, guys, or you could gain a ton of coins. Here, let me get my 80s out of here. You could gain a ton of coins that way as well, man. So you're gonna take more wins than you are losses. You want to do like 10 exchanges at a time. All right, the more that you do, the better, guys. Okay, because you have a better chance of pulling 84s. And like I said, some 83s have unique prices, guys. They definitely do. Okay. Um, sometimes when I pull the 83s, guys, I just put them in the exchange set anyway. Okay, I'll just put the 83s into the 84, 85 exchange set. Um, if I pull an 83, that's what I do. Hoping to pull an 86. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's see what we get here, guys. All right, maybe we can get an 84 overall here. All right. Boom, 84, 83 Darius Leonard. So we actually took an L on that one, guys, but that's another low stack method. Look at that, 17,000 coins. So uh, 6, 12, 18. So if we would have sniped them at six, guys, it would have cost us 18. So we would have lost 2,000 coins. But if we would have pulled an 84, we would have gained about 6,000 coins profit, okay? So it's give and take with that method, guys. You have to do a ton of them to get coins off of that another coin method for you guys all right so we're sniping doing the get a player pack doing the player exchange if you guys are low stack um remember the get a player method getting free golds all that good stuff all right so my guys that have coins that are out there making major major bank guys the number one coin method guys that we could do over and over and over again and you could do it all day every day until the next team of the week cards come out now uh i usually do like three or four days at a time because i have so much coins guys and i wait for them to sell off and you make 20 to thirty thousand coins per one of these that you guys create make sure that you're trying to snipe for low Okay, so this priest home sells for around 330,000 coins. Look, Kyler Murray's up, guys. You can still get some 60K snipes on them. Okay, now the ones you really want to be sniping lower, these 84s right here. Uh, look, 24,000 coins. You can get these for around 20, to be honest with you. Okay, I've seen them as low as 20. And I also seen these cards down here as low as 6. Okay, guys, so uh, you want to be constantly in here trying to get good snipes. Make sure you're doing your math, okay? All right, so we know that the card goes for 300,000 coins, but his power-up that you get sells for 30,000 coins, and that's where you're making bread. Now, sometimes, guys, they sell as high as 70,000 coins. It depends on what kind of asshole is in there and if he's undercutting people, but you can sell your power-up for as much as 70,000 coins from doing the method, guys. I already did it, so you're just sniping, completing the set, and where you make coins is going to be the power up okay so depending on how much the power ups are going for because you kind of break even because it costs about 300k to build the set okay um and then the card usually sells for about 320k 310k depending on how many people are doing the method it's a method that we used last year that's why it's a method because people are out there doing it right now the guys that watch me from last year already know they're already on top of it they're already on top of it okay so let's go to priest here all right let's go to halfback Hopefully I spelled that right. All right, half back. Okay, look at that. So Priest Holmes, 36,000 coins. All right, so if you guys sell it up in the 40s, man, you're going to make yourself like 30K profit every time you create one. Oh, his card's selling up high right now. Look at that, 350,000 coins. Wow. So you're talking about 350, 360, 370, 380. 380,000 coins total that you're going to make. And it only costs 300,000 coins to complete the set. 300,000 coins if you guys snipe the set right. So after EA tax, guys, you're making yourself 50,000 coins right now from the Priest Home set. Now, they do take time to sell off, guys. But if you do like two of these in a row, you're talking about 100,000 coins for making two of them and selling them off. So if you got coins, <laughs> that's why I've been telling you guys, build your coins up for the team of the week. Team of the week is our bread and butter. Bread and butter. Okay, guys, now... Uh, I told you guys training was gonna go up man. Hopefully you guys sniped your training Okay, so hopefully you guys sniped your training. Okay, so profit we made from doing the campus heroes guys All right, so we were down to two million three four hundred thousand coins after ripping our team of the week packs We lost all of our coins man from ripping those packs. We didn't get shit. Some people pulled fire at them Okay, some people pulled fire. I, I pulled trash you can go see it in the live if you want to guys Okay, you can go see it in the live if you want to okay um, but the, look, look, these, these are the power-ups we're pulling for when we're doing the get-a-player method.
by the way, guys. Okay, look, 10,000 coins. Okay, so if you were to pull that, look at that. You pull a couple of them, guys. You start to get your way up there. So if you're low stack, man, just do the get a player method. Build those free gold cards, like I said, man. Start getting your stacks up because we need coins for Christmas. We want to have millions of coins, guys. You're not going to be able to keep buying coins because EA is locking people out for buying coins. I'm telling you right now, I know so many people that are getting banned from buying coins, guys. So, guys, you see we're up to 3,080,000, but we also have Patrick Sertain, absolute goon. We love the card. Uh, this card is one of my favorite cards in the game right now, guys. Go out and get this card. Absolute stud. Div Divine Diablo, man. 90 speed, 90 excel. 6-3. Best user besides possibly Cam um, Chancellor. But now you can run Chancellor uh, up at the top. And you can run this guy in the box, man, along with a middle linebacker. I like a middle linebacker uh, to stop the run with uh, with uh, unfakeable, man. Um, very, very good uh, way to set it up to stop the run, guys. But this dude's a stud. Run him in the box, man. Absolute goon. Love all the cards, guys. For my NAT, I did take the Zach, uh, whatever the fuck his name, Zach Wilson, I think his name is. Yeah, Zach Wilson. This card's trash. I don't like it. Gunslinger ability. Don't feel like it works. I don't know, man. Travis Etienne Jr., guys, love this card, man. Absolute stud. All right, so we made all of those cards, but we also have this card right here as well, man. So uh, this is an 89 that my kid did pull, man. A 3 million mark. Like I said, that's where I feel comfortable at, guys, okay? We have 3,300,000 training. Now, um, you guys can buy a bunch of training, and you guys can try rolling the heavyweights and veterans, okay? But you need to have like 10, 15,000 training. To roll like five, six packs, all right? Now, you could also do it with the Rising Stars because these cards are going for a really good price, man. But you possibly want to buy a lot of training. You want to find what the cheapest training is on Huddle.gg. And that's the training you want to buy. Try and buy it a little bit cheaper than what the price is listed for, guys, okay? So, let's get into our Campus Hero rolls, guys. I'm telling you, this method has been working for me. You see me do it almost every video. Now, not every video do I pull in 89. We'll see how it goes here, man. Uh, but I told you, like, my son pulled 289s before I walked out of the door, man. Um, in the same role, I got two, two, two uh, 89s, man. So uh, this, this, this method, it's it's risky, guys. Um, but if, if you're into gambling, guys, I feel like this is definitely uh, the best pack by far to gamble. Now, like I said, if you want to be safe, go roll the heavyweights. If you pull an 89 out of there, man, you're going to make a crazy bank, man. So keep that in mind. Those are the safe training methods. Is rolling heavyweights, veterans, all right? Possibly flashbacks, the rising stars. If you're buying your training at the cheapest rate and rolling those packs, okay, guys? So there is coins to be made in there as well, and it's less risky. Because look, guys, I could, I could go through here and not even pull an 89. Uh, usually on my first roll, I don't pull an 89 for some reason anyway. And this is my first roll since coming back on. So it is what it is, guys. I'm willing to take the gamble, okay? Because I know I'll lose sometimes, but then I know sometimes I will win as well. I will win as well. Now, if you take all the cards and you sell them off or you guys put them in the exchange set, uh, you will make a lot of coins back. So that way you won't lose as much, okay? And when you do win, you win pretty big, okay? When you do win, you win pretty big. I'm hoping I can get two more rolls. Yeah, it looks like I can get two more rolls, guys. So let's see if we can actually get one out of here. Hopefully we can get any nine. You guys see me doing it a million times anyway. It's not nothing new, man, but this is how I've been making coins. Uh, I feel like it's definitely the most solid method in the game by far. Oh, we're falling a little short little short here let's go rip it back real quick to get some training all right let's go rip it back get some training let me get one more roll out of it uh looks like we didn't win on this one man so i might just post up oh look at this ah oh, 78 all right not bad not bad all right so now we got enough training for one more roll so let's go roll it and see if we can get ourselves an 89 out of this you pull an 89 you make profit you don't pull an 89 you know, you lose profit. Simple as that, guys. And we lost profit on that. So, um, I don't know how the method is, man. I'm going to try it a couple more times. Hopefully, we can make out with it, man. But the cards are Gucci. Uh, that's how I was making coins, guys. Um, you know, it is what it is. But go out there and get these coins, guys. These are the coin methods for today, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. 
If you're a heckler, guys, guess what? I don't need you. Just unsubscribe for me. That's how it is. It's your boy, J Money Good Man. Much love. Deuces.